Welcome to the Windows Club. If you wish to fix services and controllers app high CPU usage in your Windows computer, then either read through this article on the Windows Club or simply watch this video. I'll guide you through the resolutions. First of all, check file and location properties. Search for Task Manager in the Windows search bar and click on this option to open the application. Now, scroll down to the services and controller process. For this, you'll have to scroll through the whole list for service host and here you'll find it. Right click on it and select open file location. If the file location is in the system32 folder, then well and good, otherwise it could be a virus. After this, run the SFC scan. Search for command prompt in the windows search bar and click on run as administrator in the right pane to open the elevated command prompt window. In the elevated command prompt window, type the command sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter to invoke the sfc scan. The third solution would be to run an antivirus scan. The fourth solution would be to restart the windows management instrumentation wmi service. Press the windows key and the R button together to open the run window. Type the command services.msc and hit enter to open the service manager window. Now scroll down to the WMI or windows management instrumentation process and right click on it and select restart. The next solution would be to turn off background slideshow. Now let us check the procedure for the same. Right click on the start button and select settings. Go to the personalization tab on the list on the left hand side. In the right pane, click on background. Make sure that the personalize your background option is set at picture and not at slideshow. The next solution would be to disable diagnostic policy service. Go to the service manager window once again and this time we'll go to the diagnostic policy service. Double click on it to open its piece and then change the startup type from automatic to disabled. Click on apply and then on ok to save the settings. Isn't this easy and interesting? If you have any doubts, please go to the original article on the windows club, scroll down to the comment section and write your queries. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.